Wow, friends, did you see some of the highlights? The April 7th game versus the Kings with Blake Griffin. You know, the first dunk was okay. The the lob where he was off balance, falling all over, and he, he just flings it up and it goes in, and that was good. But the one-hand authority, the one-hand catch, that was awesome. It seems like Blake's getting the most publicity via YouTube this year with some of these theatrical dunks. And I do suggest in some of my, some of my videos also, friends, the gift that God's given you, such as, you know, Blake as a gift in basketball or you know, he has the ability to dunk, you know. The gift God's given you, you need to sow back to him, whether it's the arts, theater, drama, you're an entrepreneur, etc., athletics. And the greatest gift you can give back to God is your heart. It's yourself. Friends, if you've never accepted Christ into your heart, the Bible clearly says today's his day of salvation. I'm a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I have many, many videos via YouTube to search Rob Wood 1, R-O-B-B Wood, the number one. You can subscribe if you desire. But as I suggested before, we're all separated from God through original sin. The only way back to God is through what Christ did on the cross. Jesus did say, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man gets or comes to the Father except through me. Hey man, get a Bible in today's English. Get the dust off it. Start to read it. Get in a good Bible-based Christian preaching and teaching church. Develop a prayer life. You know the scripture, friends. The book of John, 3rd chapter, 16th verse. For God so loved the world. That's me, that's you. He gave his only son that if you would believe in Jesus, you would not perish. You'd have everlasting life. Hey, if you want to invite Christ into your heart, bow your heart with me right now. Say, Jesus. Now repeat after me. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Friends, if you made that decision and you meant it, to place Christ in the center of your life, absolute best decision. And again, the gift God's given you, you honor Him with it. Whatever, wherever God's placing you, the talents, the gifts. You know, we got Jeremy Lin, New York Knicks, outspoken Christian. Tim Tebow, New York Jets, obviously loves the Lord's a Christian. Friends, Jesus, my friends, has a mighty and a great plan for your life. You need to follow it. In the book of Jeremiah 29, chapter 11, verse, it said, God has a plan for you, plan for a hope and a future, plans for an expected end. And again, I've got many other ministry videos via YouTube to search the same Robwood one. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name, friends.